So I found this on the side of the road and it had the power cord and everything. But um, even the batteries were in it, but it rained super hard last night. So I don't think it's gonna work anymore. But I'm gonna open it up, dry it out, see what's what, make sure there's no ant nests in there. And yeah, so, oh, this little boom box has an electronic, electronically you already said, well, that's awesome. Let's see if the belts are any good too. But um, all right, yeah. So, side of the road pickup. It even has batteries in it. That's crazy. And you know what I just noticed? The batteries are in the wrong way. This guy's a doper. <laughs> That's why that part stayed dry. All right, well. I wonder if the batteries are any good because they were put in backwards. Ew, and they're not rusted. That has some nasty web something on it. Ew, yeah, whatever it was was alive in there. There's all the guts. That's disgusting. Oh, not sure how long it's been sitting outside, but it was definitely outside last night when it rained, when it poured hard. Um, yeah, so time to open this mother up and see what's what okay <clears throat> definitely got more wet than I thought but if I have to use it on batteries only to prevent a shortage if I plug it in then I'll just do that but um yeah so I'm gonna remove this because the belt looks like they're still intact, so I'm going to dry them out and sh stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Well, I hope this thing can still work. Well, I have put it back together and applied power via batteries. So far, I don't trust the uh, whole AC thing just yet, because I think there's still parts that are still a little wet. I dried it as best as I could. On the plus side... The tape player works. That's a shocker. <laughs> the radio's still a little glitchy. Because when I turn it to radio, all I get is the FM indicator light that stays on all the time, no matter what I do. So that tells me the radio is still a little glitched out. But. Yeah, that's amazing. So, now I'm just rewinding the tape, see if auto stop works. Hmm, doesn't seem like it wants to work. That's okay though, I don't care. It is kind of scratchy. Then again, the volume board was exposed to the rain. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm running it off of batteries. I still haven't cleaned that gunk. But according to the date sticker, it was made in August of 97. I could be wrong, but whatever. And the model number is AQ505-1-17. So, I will check the radio part later on. But as for now, the tape deck works.
that's good enough for me. Hopefully the radio does work soon because I want to try a recording with it. And that's the only way to do it is with the radio. But all right, cool. So a radio that's been out in the rain all night, the pouring rain. Probably got floods here and there, so. But I was on the radio the, my way to the store, saw this just sitting by the road. I was like, holy shit, that's a boombox. Pulled over as I when I left the store, grabbed it, and pour, water definitely poured out of it. Um, and I am so relieved that the uh, tape deck survived. Yeah, all right. And that's the radio. That's the Magnavox boombox. All right, later.